Welcome to your white source trial. Once your account's been provisioned and you've logged in for the first time, the first step to setting up your github.com integration is going to our integrate tab. From here, you can scroll down to the white source for developers section and click on expand. We want to integrate with github.com, so we'll expand that section. Now the first thing to do before we go to github.com and install our application there, we're going to manage the workflow rules. This will configure the GitHub integration to automatically create pull requests to remediate issues. For this example, we're going to create a new pull request for any security vulnerability with low severity or above and automatically create a generate fixed pull request. And that's all we have to do for that. If we go back to the Integrate tab one more time and go back to github.com and click on Install White Source for GitHub.com, this will take you directly to the GitHub.com application on GitHub. We can now click on Install. And this will ask whether you want to install the integration for all repositories or only select repositories. For trial instances, we recommend choosing just specific repositories that you want to use the white source integration with. I'm going to click on install. And this will redirect you to a registration page. We will now need to put in your white source username and password that you registered with and the license key. But to obtain the license key, we'll go back to our white source tab should still have this open, and we'll click on Generate License Key underneath White Source for GitHub.com. You can use this icon here to automatically copy the key to your clipboard. And we'll go back to the GitHub registration page and paste our key in there. And now we've successfully integrated White Source with that one repo. The last step to initiate your first scan is to go to your repo and you'll see a new pull request here. This new pull request, once we've merged that in, will automatically initiate our first scan. You can read here what to expect after merging this in, but this contains a single .white source file that configures your repository for being scanned with white source. Once you've reviewed these instructions, we'll merge the pull request. And in the background, that will initiate the scan. Now, within a few minutes, the scan will have completed, and you can go to your white source application, and you'll see the new scan has started there. After a few minutes, the scan will have completed, and if you refresh your white source homepage, you'll see that the project has been scanned in. By default, it'll be named GH for GitHub underscore repo name. And you'll see here that this project was scanned in, and to give you a quick overview of the results you're seeing, you'll see some vital information about your repository here, whether there's new versions available, whether you're using multiple versions of the same library, whether any libraries are released under multiple licenses. Um, and as you get into the products and start using policies, if there's anything that's been rejected, you'll see that count here. As far as security goes, we'll see that there's eight libraries that have at least one vulnerability, and there's 14 individual vulnerabilities across all the libraries that were found. In the middle of the screen, we'll see all of the libraries that were found during the scan. In this case here, there's 37 some libraries found. And on the right, we'll see a license breakdown of the different licenses that were applied to those libraries that were found during the scan. Back in GitHub, if you look at the repo, under issues, we'll see we have an issue for each vulnerability that was found. Within each issue will be all the details about the library that was vulnerable, details about the vulnerability itself, links out to the public database for the vulnerability, as well as the suggested fix. In this way, developers can stay in the repository without having to go to another interface to retrieve details about the vulnerability. 
and said they can stay in github.com, manage the issue, and manage the vulnerability, and bring it to resolution. As part of that resolution, our remediate technology that we saw when we were setting up the workflow is going to automatically generate these pull requests. If we open up one of these pull requests, we'll see that this pull request, by accepting it and merging it in, will increment a particular library from one version to the next and resolve these vulnerabilities. So by incrementing our current version of this library, to this version of the library, we will resolve these current vulnerabilities and these associated GitHub issues that were found during the scan. So again, Remediate is removing the need for developers to triage issues, find resolutions, implement resolutions, and then create the pull requests. Instead, Remediate is removing all that work for the developer. Thank you for watching this presentation. And if you have further questions, please reach out to your white source representative or you can visit our website for more information.